Hello YouTube. Um, today we are going to do a station review, which is going to be a new series on the disused Hatesbury station. You can see the bridge coming up here. So, a bit about the station before we start. Hatesbury station was a station opened in the 19th century and it's situated in Hatesbury in the United Kingdom in Wiltshire. Ignore the cars. Um, and it was closed by Doc, the inf by order of the infamous Dr. Beeching um, in the s late 50s, early 60s. Sadly, it is closed and it would have been a great help to the, co to the community on ro because the roads, the main roads, are so overused and overpopulated that you need stations in nearly every village and town and city. I mean, Devizes used to have one and so did Marlborough. They need one because their high streets are completely... I'm not sure how to put this, but clogged. Almost there to the bridge. So, that's where the old station is. That's, in, that's actually a new building. I'll show you the actual old pit. It's still in place. Ow. Okay. So down there is the railway. Focus if it can if it will focus. That little hut there, that's that used to be the ticket office. There used to be a platform. There used to be platforms there. Um and there used to be platforms going along there as well. This used to be the bridge. This used to be the bridge over to get over the over the railway. As you can see, this um this bridge was replaced 2010 f by um, from a really nice ironwork to this horrid old thing. As you can see, people have graffitied on it a lot. Nice day, nice morning. Um, I prefer the old bridge. I remember the old bridge. <laughs> so this side, this is where the path used to come up and over the bridge. This path was never here. This path was never here. It used to be two ways, but the road squeezes in a bit. So then limit the weight. Next, these are new bits of railing. You can see the railway down there. There's less graffiti on this side than that side. It's a horrid bridge. Comment down below if you think this is a horrid bridge and you prefer an old ironwork bridge. Same number as the other side. This is a great place for blackberries. If further on down, you can't really see. Oh, you might be able to see. There's sun in the way. Further on down, there's a signal. It's an orange and green signal. And there's also a, a brick work humpback bridge. You can see down there. Can you see the light? There's an old ma. There's a telephone mast there cables and um, humpback bridge you can't see, really see the signal but trust me it's there oh i think i hear a train that's sign there 
not sure what's that all about but hey so if we carry along down this road oh um this this old station has now been turned into a house i'm not I, i'm not going to tell you the names of the people who own the house for privacy reasons you can see the house through there just you see chimneys and that wasn't the station building. The one I showed you next to the railway is the station building. What well, was anyway? As we walk, as we progress down this, down this, oh, Robin. Um, as we progress down this um, road on this beautiful winter's morning. Thought I heard a train. Um, you'll see lots of brambles, but we've come to something really special that not many people know about that was built by British Rail. I'll tell you about it in a minute. People who uh, operate this line is a joint between um, Southwestern Southwestern Railways or SWR, as some people call it, and Great Western or First Great Western or GWR, as many people like to call them. Um, and this, they both operate it, um, bet between Salisbury and Warminster. This station is situated between the, the lovely town of Warminster and the beautiful city of Salisbury. That's the road that leads up to the old station building. Oh, is, that, is that a train? I think that's a train. We'll be able to see it. Plane somewhere. Oh, that was a car. Um, that's the road back up to this old station. You can see a drag, the old tractor there. So why well, I'm taking you this far. Um, that's the railway up there. Where I'm taking this far is because there's something that's quite special that's merged into fields that people can still use and it's in falling into disrepair so that's why I'm sharing it with you now. Okay. Not gonna show the number plate for privacy reasons. We get some YouTube guidelines. I don't want this video to get demonetized. Okay. Through this gate. Private public, pub, I mean, public path. Um, there's sometimes cows in here. Lovely old ironwork. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the, pro probably the oldest piece of ironwork still existing on the old British Rail thing. Quite wobbly. And this was built by, dare I say it, JW Tit and, Comp and Co. And their home base was in Warminster. I don't think they're still they're functioning anymore. As you can see, it's been cracked because it's cast iron and rusty. But it still functions quite well as a bridge over a very shallow ditch. Okay, if you carry along this path, I'll tell you a bit of a bit more about this path later on. It goes past Whatever that is. Or bush. Probably. Um, as you can see, it was all tarmac Another car. All tarmac And. It's good. It's falling into disrepair slightly. 
you. Um, grass is slowly overgrowing it. You can see rough edges there and there. Another big bridge. This one, these bits of struts are quite old, but not the rail with it. They're not, that's too old. <coughs> Lovely bush. It's in a field right now. You can still see railway line up there. Now, as we've had some flooding recently, after we've had gallons of rain, some of the river has overflown, as you can see there. Don't, don't start an argument in the, if that's a puddle or not. Ah, oh, that's the station. That's not the station, but that's where the person who lives in the original station building lives. Um, this bridge is not the original bridge. You're thinking, really? Because the, old, the original bridge, oh, this is pop, the tarmac and the stonework is all original, but the metalwork is not original. It was so rusted and falling apart that the um, that the people of Hatesbury replaced it. Um, with this new bridge, as you can see, it's starting to rust a bit there. We still got more. This is a, this is original stonework. Carry along this bit about this bit about this path. This path was built when the station opened, um, so people off from the train and to the, going to the trains could walk along this path to get to the railway station from Hatesbury because barely anybody had cars um, and after the station closed it's it still existed as a nor just a normal path or a shortcut through the meadows Everybody calls this a meadow path, but I call it the British Rail Path because it served the station. We might have a train service in a minute. Um, um, people still use this for dog walking, as you can see there's some paw prints there. Some dog, the people use this as dog walking. Shortcuts, I think the train's coming. Um, yeah, people use it for general use now and shortcuts so they don't have to walk around that way. You can walk around this way. Children with small bikes can also get them along, along here. Hmm. Yeah, so that concludes the tour. Stay tuned if you want to see um, a train and comment like and subscribe. It's a beautiful town of Hatesbury. And don't forget to click the notifications bell. I'm still broadcasting, by the way. I think the train's coming, so stay tuned if you want to see that. It might not. Don't you think it sounds like there is? No, the train's not coming. It's Sunday. See the old me? Okay, sorry about that. Comment, like, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode of Station Review. Station Review.